The following opinions are solely those of BoatTest.com and its test captain. Hi, I'm Captain Steve Gilchrist for BoatTest.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the features and performance of the Roballo R247. The R247 is the largest boat in Roballo's dual council line. She was designed for fishing, diving, and cruising, and she can even be used as a towboat for water sports. Roballo offers the R247 with a single or twin outboards. Our test boat had the single Yamaha 300 horsepower 4.2 liter V6. With a full tank of gas and two people on board, our test boat weighed an estimated 6,310 pounds. Top speed was 43.1 miles per hour at 5,800 RPM, and she burned 25.9 gallons per hour, giving us a range of 202 statute miles. Best cruise came at 3,500 RPM, where she ran 23 miles per hour and burned 9.4 gallons per hour. That gave us a range of 298 statute miles. In acceleration tests, the R247 planed in 4.7 seconds, then passed through 20 miles per hour in 6.2 seconds, and 30 miles per hour in 10.1 seconds. Seas were calm on our test day, so we ran through our own wake to see how the R247 handled bumpy water. She sliced right through the wake without flinching, with 22 degrees of dead rise at the transom, and Roballo's Hydrolift multi-angle bottom design, this boat should feel right at home offshore. Because the R247 was designed primarily for fishing, let's take a look at how she's equipped for that task. In the gunnels, we found four rod holders, and at deck level, there's a stainless steel tow rail to help anglers keep their balance in rough water. To keep gear secure, there's a dedicated tackle box storage, rod racks in the gunnels, and lockable space for rods in the deck compartment. The insole locker has enough space to store rods and wakeboards. It measured 9 feet 6 inches long, 30 inches wide, and 20 inches deep. Once the big ones are caught, there's a fish box in the transom, plus additional space in three insulated self-draining lockers in the bow. Notice they're all covered in non-skid to serve double duty as a casting platform. An optional insert over the footwell in the bow creates a large casting deck. For water sports enthusiasts, our test boat had the optional hardtop with the integrated tow point and tower speakers. A swim step to starboard has a three-step reboarding ladder. For cruising or entertaining, a removable table mounts to the forward footwell. For sunbathers, there's a cushion that installs between the seats to turn the bow area into a giant sun pad. Our test boat had the optional entertainment center that includes a 12-volt outlet stainless grab handles, a stainless sink and cup holders, and a Corian countertop. Below we found a 25 quart removable cooler. To port we find the enclosed head compartment. Our test boat had the comfort package that includes teak and holly decking, a cabinet with solid countertop, and a stainless sink. We'd like to see Roballo add an opening port light for ventilation and light. Now let's check out the R247 seating. To add to her versatility, Roballo created a companion seat that can face forward to the side or aft. The fold-out transom bench adds to the boat's seating capacity and opens up fishing space when it's tucked away. In the bow, the seating wraps around to accommodate three comfortably. The rail and armrests on the cap rail will keep passengers secure as well. Now on to operations. The helm on the Roballo R247 has plenty of space for electronics. The boat comes standard with Lenco trim tabs and position indicators, plus Yamaha digital instruments. Here we have the upgraded Command Link Plus color screen providing the instrumentation. Roballo included a dark colored stitched eyebrow over the dash. The instrument panel is made of aluminum, and the R247 has a tilt wheel connected to Seastar hydraulic steering, and the steering knob was a welcome addition. Roballo made sure there was lockable storage under the helm. Owners like to see easy access to critical systems, and Roballo provides us with the transom door that gives novice mechanics space to work. At the bow, the anchor locker is flanked by stainless steel pull-up cleats. Our test boat had the optional windlass package. With the R247, Roballo has created a do-everything boat that should appeal to people who prefer outboard power. It's backed by a 10-year hull warranty, and with a single engine, operating costs are within reach of a young family. And that concludes our look at the Roballo R247. I'm Captain Steve Gilcrest for BoatTest.com.